Groundhog Day. That's the story Bloomberg's going with, Eliza. It feels like that for Deutsche Bank, doesn't it? Certainly, yes. This is where we were uh, a year ago to, to the day, actually, where you're looking at falling revenue and uh, an outlook for modest growth, which still isn't coming through. And I guess today's reaction by investors um, shows the frustration, but not just on revenue, this time also on cost, which is you know, one thing that um, John Klein did have very firmly in hand. And now he's pointing to a higher cost base for 2018, which is Again, another piece of news that investors were not hoping to see. Eliza, I ask this question as respectively as I possibly can. John Crime had a tremendously difficult job in front of him, and he inherited a lot of problems with the previous group of individuals that ran this bank, including Anshu Jain. But I do wonder when patient runs thin for the investor base, what are we hearing from the big investors of Deutsche Bank, and how much time ultimately, ultimately that John Crime has left to turn this around? Well, we've been hearing for several months now that that patience is, is wearing thin, and I think this is confirmation of the concerns that investors have had. But um, I think you know it's fair to argue that it's quite difficult to, to turn this um, this very large company around. Kryan himself today said it, regulators find it that it's still too complex. So finding um, you know finding a different trajectory is what's going to be difficult for any manager uh, one area that they're looking at now of course is the IPO of the asset management business which is supposed to give a bigger stronger platform for that business to to grow and that's you know still on the cards for the near term